ಅವ್ರು ಶ್ರೀ ನದಿ ರಜನಿ ಫರೂಕಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಗಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ದ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುರೇಶ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಐ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಬಾಜೆಟ್ ದ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಬಾಜೆಟ್ ಸಿಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಬೈ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಕಾಂಕ್ರೀಟ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ the the time bound priorities or targets the rail budget missed an ideal opportunity to lay out the agenda for the future concrete manner instead it was a statement of lofty intent the government has failed to fulfill the promises made in the last budget after a period of 9 months still much hype bullet train is under study does the government want to fill these promises in the next time if that that is so then the delhi election have made them to think for the next term the government has already increased huge rail fare last year and promised to provide better facilities but instead the government has failed in all capacities the center has failed promises that the decreases in diesel prices would get reflected in a rail fare with co- corresponding decreases but this was not done although diesel prices were reduced several times with these decreases in diesel price the 6 7 times in the last one year the fare should have been decreased too but without doing they are trying to take credit for hiking the rail fare the government is taking about high speed train but current trains like rajdhani satadhi express hardly completes its journey on time during winter the condition of the rail journey is horrified with several train run late and even forcing them to cancel the journey without improving the present system as it justified the full, to fool the people more promises the safety of high speed trains will be a huge risk these blatant example are uh, is of delhi dibruga rajdhani express which derailed last year near chapa uh, near chapa district bihar uh, that causes accident is still unknown the budget announced more than 96000 crore investment on 77 77 projects those include 9400 km new railway lines along with their electrification uh, this is the most ambitious target without clearing up the block uh, bla- backlog of more than 360 projects they have been stuck due to that that of the financing <coughs> financial several years the finance ministry will provide 40000 crore to the railway by way of gross budgetary support which also includes 7000 crore embankment for the freight corridor project and project of national importance but what about the rest fund where they there where will they come from ground realities need to be taken into account the new project for the state has been announced in the budget which is open the scope of fdi in railway project which will anti- ultimately go against the interests of the biggest public sector uh, entity entity the northeast comprises the uh, contiguous seven sisters the states like arunachal pradesh assam manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland tripura plus the himalayan state like sikkim and it has got tremendous scope for tourism the railway ministry hasn't proposed anything which can be considered the beneficial for the tourism sector when the prime minister mr modi had come to campaign for campaign for his election he has promised lots of good things for the northeast but nothing in real uh, real life nothing has happened as such so especially in the railway budget the honorable prime minister promised to develop the tourism sector in the northeast but it has only <coughs> appeared blatant the freight hike will result increase the prices of all essential commodities and also increase the miseries of the ordinary passengers 
by not introducing new train despite huge passenger pressure on existing trains. The railway budget 2015-16 is high on hyperbole and low on content and will not bring the promised good ways for the poor. In sum, the railway budget is not going to result a achadin for poor people. And now, whatever, everybody spoke about the railway budget, but I think this railway budget has given nothing to, given nothing to the Northeast people. So I request the railway minister to make two trains in my district, Nogao, it is Kaliabar Express and Silgat Express air conditioned. Can you imagine till today there is not a single air conditioned train from my district to the other parts? The Prime Minister has given a lot of hope in the North East, but, but we are not sure whether he is seem to be uh, he, he whether he is really think for our North East. So I don't want to speak much more about railway budget. It has already been spoken by the members of the different parties. So it is my last request that the minister should minister take a lot of uh, uh, request that the minister that a lot of people from northeast goes to Bombay for treatment. There is only one train from uh, Guwahati. So my request, request is that there should be one air-conditioned train should be uh, given from Guwahati to uh, Bombay for the, uh, the, for, for the people who goes for treatment there. And as you all know, the whole world knows about the Kajiranga National Park where the one horn rhinos are there. So there's, there the tourists and the foreigners, they are very much in uh, trouble because they have to come all the way to Guwahati by flight, then again they go to Kajiranga. So it is, uh, it will be like quite taxes for them. So I request the Honorable Railway Minister that there should be one train from the uh, Bangaigao to direct to the Naga. Naga is the nearest, it's only two hours drive to Kajiranga. So I request that there should be a special air conditioned train from New Bangaigao to Naga so that the tourists all over from well and uh, and uh, india they can go there and it will be it will be a very good uh, present for the people of assam so thank you very much i don't want to take much time so once again i thank uh, the minister that he will at least uh, think for the northeast port and i thank uh, sir thank you thank you thank you very much now the discussion on the budget railway is 2015-16 We'll continue on Monday, 16th March, 2015. Now I